In this video, I will show you how you can upload your files for an order that already exists. So there is no need to place a whole new order, separate order. Uh, you already placed an order. Uh, you just want to send new artwork for whatever reason. It could be that your artwork didn't go through when you originally tried to upload, or there was an error on your artwork and it has not been sent to print yet and you wish to send different one, maybe you know, it's a spelling error or whatever it is. So this is what you'll do. You come to the site at cardsandbanners.com and there is a upload file link down at the bottom. And this is the screen that you'll see. Now first you'll make sure that your files are one of these formats. If it's anything else, it will not upload. So make sure that your file is saved as one of these formats. Otherwise, this whole process is going to be useless. It's not going to go through. Um, if your file is uh, publisher file or, or anything else, try to convert it to one of these formats. Or save it as PDF, uh, probably recommended. So here we are. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'll upload uh, there's an order called one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's my order number that already exists, and I need to send the file for that order. So this is uh, for the order number, and then that order I have ordered business cards. So business cards. That's for product or size. Um, two by three point five inch. Okay, and now I can upload my file. If I have any questions, I can click here, and that will bring up a little window, and that will tell me a little bit more about my files. You can read through that, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and upload my files, business cards, upload front, upload back, add to cart. Okay, that might take a minute or two because the files are a little bit large and it takes takes a little bit of time to process them, to upload them, see. Then on the next screen, you see this green line up here that says successful, files saved successfully. Um, and you can see your shopping cart content. You see the order number, the uploading for, the size. And you see it down here, that is the file I just uploaded. And that's the back file I just uploaded. And I see there's a total zero, zero. Even up here shows one item, total zero. If for whatever reason this number is not a zero, that means you have something else in your cart. See, like this is one item right here. And if this number is not a zero, then you have something else, either below or above that. Um, that means you added a completely different product that you're wanting, that you're trying to pay for, and you've added this. That's why it might be prompting you to do, you know, pay whatever, you know, another amount. What you want to do is, if you don't want to buy that other product, if you just want to upload a file, if that is the case, then just remove it from your car. You can just click on this icon, and it'll just delete that one product, and it'll only leave this this file. So once this is zero here then you're good to go. So you will uh, continue to check out. That might take a second as well. Now it comes to the screen, but don't worry. You see up here, one item. See that, that means your item is still in your shopping cart. And since you're re-uploading, I'm assuming you are returning user, so you will probably be just logging in. I'm going to go ahead and log in now. I have just logged in, and see... My account logged in. Go to checkout. So, payment method. Don't worry, your total is zero. You're not going to pay anything, but this is just part of the process. Uh, you have to acknowledge the terms and conditions and just ignore this because this is a free order. You see that free order down here? Yeah, so that's what that means. Go to checkout. And it's just going to review, make sure this is correct. Is this what you're doing? Reorder, this is the information. This is your artwork down here. 
uh, this is your price, everything is good. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Confirm. And that has been confirmed. Now it gave me a whole new uh, number. My confirmation number is just right here. I can print this if I wanted to, but I don't need to do that. Um, so I can go back to my account either here or up here, either way. And I can see, see there is my, my order down here. Uh, it says zero. That's, uh, and it says pending. Once we review this, we download these files because this is your re-uploading file. This pending will change to something like um, up missing files uploaded or something like that. I'm not exactly sure on top of my head, but uh, this this will change in, to let you know like missing file uploaded and this is something else order that's missing a file. So let's say this is your order and this is the order that you're missing file for. So you can click here and you can view the details, see missing file upload, order status pending means you are good, you have uploaded your missing file successfully. But just double check that you see your file names right there. See upload front, upload back. If you do not see this right here, that means you have not done something correctly. You probably tried to upload format that's not acceptable. And even though it still um, doesn't block you, but it does give you a red warning message that those formats are not acceptable. Uh, if you overlook that, it would let you go through. Um, we don't have a way to stop that process, but it will uh, not be anything. See, this this thing right here that I'm showing, that means there's something. If there wasn't anything, that would be missing. You only see these other two. So that's how you upload the missing file um, or re-upload. And that's it. That's simple.